It's now down to four in women's soccer, and the remaining teams will all be in action in Hamilton, New York, on Friday for the Patriot League Women's Soccer Semifinals live on the PLN. Host Colgate will take on fifth-seeded Bucknell at 5 p.m., and second-seeded Boston U will go up against number three Navy at 8 p.m. Boston U and Navy have met three times over the last two years, including a pivotal matchup in the 2013 championship game. All three of those meetings ended in a 1-0 score, with Boston U landing on the winning side in the last two. Even though the two teams lead the league in scoring, history tells us we'll be looking at a more defensive contest on Friday. We have a pretty high score in attack. They have a pretty high score in attack, but I anticipate a more of a defensive battle. I think when you're in these tournament situations, everybody's playing with a lot of discipline and playing really strong. And I, you know, it takes one of those moments where uh, you just your player does something special and catches the other team or the other player in a moment that allows her to get an edge. We've always prided ourselves in having a solid defense, and I know. They have the Defender of the Year for a few years over there, so it's it's always been a good match defensively, and it's just whoever can get the one moment and the one chance and execute on it. That's what Boston U did in the league opener on September 20th as Jenna Fisher scored the lone goal in a 1-0 win. Staying focused was the key, and first-team All-League defender Kai Miller knows her team will have to put forth the same kind of effort on Friday. I think the biggest thing is we just have to stay focused. Um, we know that they're a good team, we know that they're going to bring a good game, so it's just going to be whoever wants it most in all the moments of the game, so that's what we're focusing on. We know we're going to face a team that is um, going to be ready, uh, physically fit, organized, um, really strong defending defensive team with some dangerous players in attack. So. I, th I think uh, we have a lot of respect for them. I, I think they have a lot of respect for us. And um, as Kai mentioned, uh, you, you, know, you have to do all the little things well and then uh, separate yourself in the moments um, to make something special happen and defend them in those moments to not uh, allow them to make something special happen. So yeah, it's going to come down to that. With the win, the Terriers will advance to the championship game once again, and they'll look to win a second straight title since joining the Patriot League. It's a tough league, so um, you know our cross country women's cross country team just won back to back titles, and uh, I think uh, we um, we would love to be able to do that. But we know how challenging that is over the last. I don't think it's been since Navy uh, won back to back in. 2006, 2007, I, I think there's been a different champion each of the last six years. So that tells you all you need to know about the parity in the league and to even be in a position to be um, beating for, uh, if, we're, if we do that uh, and get to Sunday's game, to be competing for a second championship, I think would be a, a, a huge uh, achievement because of the quality of the teams in the conference. The entire tournament will be live on the PLN and you can watch it by logging on to PatriotLeague.tv. For the Page League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.